Okay, guys. Episode 3 of Grand Dicer U dro just dropped. I'd like to say, man, God bless President Trump. That's the only thing that kept him alive during that attempt. That was that was so bad. Hopefully that never happens again. And it's something that I never thought that I would see in my lifetime. But it did. So, while in, in prayers to everybody involved. Um, man, we lost a really courageous firefighter that... You know gave his life protecting his family and i'm telling you he's gonna be remembered and honored for the rest of us for the rest of our lives um sadly that won't bring him back but uh, i think it's something that the family should be proud and the people that got hurt i I'm glad to hear you know president trump's speech on the rnc like you know glad to know that they're fine that's great that that shouldn't happen to anyone doesn't matter left right center whichever way you are that shouldn't happen to anyone honestly that's third world country stuff and we're not a third world country so let's go episode three here boom starting right off of course we always have the intro but i always check it because there might be something different and it is yes this time the show was planet vega so you guys can see here one of the buildings at the planet which is pretty nice but then you know we go straight into a little bit more storage they actually tell us the grandizer story which is very interesting so we got planet vega and we got a uh, planet fleet of course and the royal planet of uh, royal family of fleet you know which it is pretty nice uh, that we're seeing them of course all these people have the blank eyes because they're not important enough to be given backstories of course so vega empire basically invaded them and grandizer came out now they fought seven times i think it is and all seven times grandizer beat them and then they decided to sign a treaty which basically oh look they gave these guys faces okay basically the treaty made it so grandizer couldn't be used as a weapon but he couldn't be destroyed also so it's very interesting the way they have him locked up you know he's locked up there like uh, crucified pretty much then we get to see these evil eyes which we don't know who it is and of course then the intro plays no still i like the intro that they did so we pick right back up <laughs> yeah so, Duke is fa facing Kaido, or Kado, pretty much, and gonna be fighting pretty decently here. Now, the animation is actually pretty good, as you guys can see. Um, but this fight, I, I, I thought we were gonna see more, but it didn't really. Honestly, as you guys can see, the anti-gravity storm being used here looks great but he dodges it he does call duke a lot the cowardly prince because he's like i kill all your family or your maids everybody that you love and you didn't do anything to me <laughs> pretty much that's what happened you know uh, he was able to escape and of course his outfit there first trap there you go throw the ladies out there they want to see that so he's got you space thunder and Kylo is like no 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 if you use that here everybody's gonna die because that's your most powerful attack here which is weird because he remember in the first episode he used it took out two of the vega machines and nothing bad happened so this time let's start dicing it now um Kylo tried to escape and he is doing it basically by doing the spider-man Yep, he's doing the Spider-Man. I don't know why they did that, but they went with that. So Koji is trying to fly the spacer, and he can't. He can't. He, he can't figure out how to fly, fly it, and there's a good amount of enemies coming up. So basically, they attack 3,000 enemies, plus these assholes up here are up to something, of course. And check that out. 3,000 lasers being shot at the same time at Grandizer. I'm not crazy enough to count all of them. I'm not going to count that high, but... Are, are there really 3,000? 
I don't know. I'm, somebody would probably go crazy and say that in a video. If you do, God bless you, but you're pretty crazy, man. That's kind of... We, we don't need that detail. But yeah. Um, Duke gets pretty pissed off. And he starts using the hand beams, of course. Kylo returns and attacks. You know, but... There goes the gravity beam again. Gravity storm. Nice. And, you know, that was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You know, he's really happy. And he starts pissing Duke off. And looks like Duke might, you know, unleash all the power that Grandizer has and destroy the planet with it. And Koji, big twist. Remember what I said? Hey, I think the ring is bullshit. You know, I don't think the ring is actually going to do anything. I was wrong. Yeah, Koji's assessing the situation. They're trying to catch a Grandizer. Um, they can't really much. Because Grandizer is far too powerful. For them to catch her right now. And then this character, like... Man, I forgot the name, but was one of the generals. Basically, a reverse... Um, Baron Ashura because Baron Ashura, if you remember, is half human. I mean, half male, half female. This one is outside male, inside female. So it's a very interesting character the way that they did it there. And by the way, um, these characters are old, really, 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 really old. Like Baron Ashura as well. So way before the eye and all that stuff. So he does use the drill, the screw, crusher, punch there. She looks really awesome. It looks great like that with the effect parts. There is a model kit coming out by way of Grandizer U. Um, but it's not... I don't know, Grandizer U. Um, I don't really like the design of Grandizer U when it comes to the, to the upper arms and the thighs. That's the only thing that I don't like about it. Also, uh, the things for the... For the real pressure punch, that's the only thing that I don't like. Um, I, I I enjoy more the infinite some version of him. Some people are gonna like that comment, some people are not. But anyway, Red Sizer jumps, slashing everything with the Hawken. Looking pretty awesome while doing it. And this is where things get dicey. Because Duke has the upper hand, he has the guy. And Koji's like trying to communicate with him and he can't. Yeah, the spacer and and I said don't have communications and Koji's trying to find it, he can't. And Kylo knows is pretty much over. Check that out. Ooh. Oh, it's pretty sick, right? So Koji actually pulls out a detonator. Yes! He the ring was not bullshit. I was like, no fucking way. You, you, what? Kabuto Koji being that smart? Darn. He never does anything like that. Well, he's going to press the button, blow everything up, and, you know, Duke remembers everything and decides, nah, I'm just gonna, well, I'll, I'll, I'll just let this scene speak for itself. <laughs> because it's actually pretty funny. And Koji's gonna do it. And then, boom! Gravity. There we go. Did he kill him? Nah, he's still alive. He just grabs him. Grabs the head. Nope. That was pretty awesome. And now he's captured. Koji's happy. But there's one more thing. Because this thing has been charging all along. Yeah. They're trying to fire massive beam here and they are detected and then Grandizer does one pretty awesome thing that is basically fires the punch from the ground all the way to the atmosphere through it and hitting it like that was so badass. That was so badass. 
that's a badass scene. That's that's awesome, and you know that's what you want from Super Robots. That's what people love about Super Robots that they do these badass things that are just awesome. And of course, the designs and the stories. So, girl sees it and she's like, oh, "Okay, I have to meet up with him again." Just to rest and goes, and. You can see Grandizer there, and the people are actually pretty happy. You know, people are cheering. Duke thinks that they they want to kill him, but no, Koji's like, nah, they're changing your name, man. And nobody knows your name, <laughs> you know, or the name of the robot, so they just go back. And here we go, we're back to the base. Yes, back to the fold on lab. So, a real night with Sayaka, so Sayaka's a little bit pissed off, you know. Then Sayaka's father comes in and he does mention a thing about um, Kabuto and then after Genso here, which is the space guy. And he talks a lot and Sayaka tells him to shut the fuck up, pretty much. So, but just like, hey, I'm gonna take a rest. You know, Duke gets a medical exam, of course. Finding out that he is pretty much human. That's, there is pretty much no difference between a human and a fleet. So, that's very interesting. But he does say something that Dr. Kabuto wouldn't hesitate. Now, we don't know what he means. Does that mean um, killing him? Does that mean trusting him? Does that mean um, using their technology? We don't know. So Koji goes back to Sayaka, tells her, hey, hey, Massinger is here, we we, we walk right back, and this was left of it. No. Pretty badly torn up, pretty badly destroyed, and Koji, you know, Koji gets pretty emotional, you know. He's like, Grandpa built you to be the strongest guardian, and, you know, I didn't do my job properly, I didn't pilot you properly. So, I'm, you know, you can see that he has tears in his eyes. Um, you know, that I'm gonna do a better job next time when we fix you. And that, uh, you know, um, nobody's gonna defeat you again. I think um, Massinger is gonna get upgraded. I, I think it's gonna get upgraded. Now, will it look the same as we have seen already? Maybe, maybe, um, there's a few series and versions of Massinger that when he gets upgraded, all they say is like, oh, we got you a new super alloy. Okay, he has a new super alloy, but nothing changed. They did that with Massenkaiser. If you see the Massenkaiser's OVA, uh, the series, you see that Massenkaiser pretty much stays the same until he gets the Kaiser Scarander. And that's the only thing that changes, but when you go to Journal of Darkness, um, they're like, oh yeah, we upgraded Massenkaiser. We put a new alloy on it, which makes it stronger, but nothing really physically changes. So I wouldn't be surprised they do that. It's that's a cost-saving measure. They have done it uh, a lot of times. You know, it's nothing new, and it's a way you know so they don't have to draw a new Massinger. But who knows? Who knows? They they might surprise us. You know, they might surprise us. So. These assholes are just talking about, oh yeah, we got to get back, we got to get back on that guy. And you know, Sayaka is pretty sad because she's seen Koji like, you know, Ko Koji pretty much didn't do anything. You know, he, he did fight those guys when they first came out, but he hasn't done anything. He didn't do anything in the spacer again. also. Because he couldn't control it, there was nothing he could do. So, Duke comes in, talks to Koji. And they're both talking, and <laughs> Duke is like, man, I want to keep, uh, you know, this ring, you know, I, I want to keep it. And Koji's like, yeah, you should remove it. And he's like, no, no, I like keeping it. But this conversation right here, um, they they talk about, Duke talks about um, being from space. And Koji's like, may my grandfather made Grandizer, right? And Duke is like, that's impossible. And Koji gets pissed off. Koji gets pissed off. You know, the Kabuto Koji guys it gets pissed off. Um, but Duke's like, hey, dude, look, it, I, 
nothing wrong with your grandpa. We, we don't have any that, uh, that problem. The thing is that Grandizer has been here for many, many years. Uh, my people say that it's been, it, it was built by a god, by some time of presence that we don't know about. And, and that's just all I'm saying. I don't believe it, but that that's just what I've been told. So, you know, a little tension there, but not that much. Which makes sense. And then this hassle cattle here, he's staring. Then he's like, well, I'm not doing anything. So I'm going to put my hand here and pretty much pull my eye out. Yeah. But the eye is a communication device, actually. And look who he's talking to. Ah, look at this. Yes, he's talking to her. It's like, okay, I'll come right up. You know, and then Koji and Duke try to question him, but nothing comes out of that. Comes out of that. So, that's what happens. You know, they, they, he's um, Kado's actually an alien. Like he, they, they said he's not like the fleets. He's not human. Because they do run DNA tests on him. So this is the entity. This is the Vega. You know, this is the main bad guy. This is the Vega. Right here. And something very interesting about this guy. As you guys can see here. I know um Shingeller is covering up here, but it has two green eyes here and red eyes here. Is this thing gonna be like a messenger zero? That is a giant robot with its own. Um, how you say this? Consciousness that is pulling the strings. Is that it? Is that gonna be the Vega then? The main guy? Because that's what it looks like. And honestly, by the eyes, it kind of looks like a Kaiser. It, it, it has that massing Kaiser, massing Emperor G. Great, massing Kaiser eyes to it. And also the little horns here. So it's gonna be something similar to that, but in a Grandizer design? That's gonna be interesting, right? Look at that. So you don't really know. You know, that was pretty crazy, anyways. He, he, he might be saying BS. So. Then we skip here to Koji and Duke just talking. And they see a ship flying down and they get on the bike, of course. And the ship crashes and Duke is like, oh, that's a Vega ship. And he just goes and goes like, okay, transform. Transform into Duke. Duke transforms into Duke. Duke on Duke action. Confirm. Go. So, Look at this. He brings her back and Koji's like, damn, where'd you get that girl from? Oh. And he's like, hey, that's my childhood friend. And she wakes up. Pretty much. She's like, oh my god, Duke. I finally see you. I finally found you. Oh my god, oh my god. Duke, Duke, Duke. But we all know when a girl talks to you like that. And her lips move on the other side. Oh, you're in for some trouble. So, yeah, that's the whole episode. And then, you know, you get the outro, of course. But then we get to the last part here, which is pretty much, boom, the next episode, episode four. So, yeah, I gotta say, this episode was pretty good. Um, even, you know, I liked it. Um, the only thing is that the fight against... Uh, Duke and Kato wasn't that great, but I I, I think that Kato was like, I'm gonna let myself get captured, you know, I'm not really gonna fight that much, so um, that way I can infiltrate them and all that stuff. But still, this um, this episode is pretty good. You get some of the story, and I really want to see what the hell is the Vega, you know, what the hell is this entity, this thing with the red and green eyes because I, something tells me that this thing is gonna be like Massinger Zero that is gonna be a evil version of Grandizer which will be pretty cool honestly so yeah guys and uh, that does it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it and 
out. See you guys next time.